Welcome to Movement and Function. I'm Beth Wagner. Today I'm really excited to bring you my Intermediate Vestibular Rehabilitation video. This video is for you if you've already watched and, and completed the exercises in my Beginner Vestibular Rehab video and you're doing really well with those exercises and you're ready for more challenge. Ideally, in order to progress to this next video, you will have been able to complete 20 repetitions of all the seated exercises with medium to fast motion. Standing, you will be able to stand with your feet together for 30 seconds or longer. You'll be able to stand on one leg for five seconds or longer. And you will be able to complete the walking exercises from the beginner video with small motion, about 10 feet, four times. That's a good indication that you will be able to complete these exercises safely and that these exercises are at an appropriate level for you and where you are with your vestibular system healing. With these exercises, it's very important to start off standing next to a countertop with your hands on the counter for support. As you feel more and more comfortable and as your balance and your vestibular system improves, you'll be able to go from two hands to one hand, then to one or two fingers, and then finally take your hand off the countertop. But please start all of these exercises with support initially. Step one in progressing from the beginner video to this intermediate video is that we'll take all of the seated exercises from the beginner video and do them standing. So I'll go through those uh, pretty briefly since I went into a lot more instruction in the beginner video. First of all, stand with your feet comfortable distance apart. Do a little bit of a chin tuck. Exercise number one is a head nod and head turn. So we'll start facing forward and simply turn your head to the side, back to the center, and then the other side. Keep alternating left and right head turns. Shoot for 20 repetitions. Do as many as you can and work up as you're able. Part two is the head nod. So you'll look down toward the floor and then up toward the ceiling. Continue alternating looking up and down. Start with a small motion with this exercise. If you go too far down and too far up, you might really get dizzy and um, risk falling over. So start small, build up the motion and the speed as you feel more and more comfortable. Number two is gaze stabilization with head nod and head turn. We'll start with one finger out front, focus on the finger and move your head side to side like you're saying no thank you. Do as many as you can, work up to 20 repetitions. Next, part two of that is looking up and down as if you're saying yes please. And again, work up to 20 repetitions. In between each of these exercises, uh, go back to the center, look forward, take a deep breath, and take just a second to reset everything before moving on to the next exercise. The third standing exercise is VOR cancellation with, uh, with a head nod. So you'll start with your finger out front, and now we're gonna look up and down just like this. Okay, part two of that exercise is the VOR cancellation with head turn. Start with your finger up front and move your head and your eyes to follow your finger left and right. All right, and then end by coming back to the center. Number four is a head tilt with your eyes open and then eyes closed. Start with your head forward, eyes unfocused, and simply tilt your head over toward one shoulder, pause, come back up, and go to the other side. And continue alternating right and left side. Do as many as you can and work up to 20 repetitions as you're able. Part two of that is with your eyes closed. Definitely be sure that the first time you do this exercise, for several times you do this exercise probably, you're holding onto a countertop for support. I've done this exercise enough to know I'm not going to risk falling over doing this, so it's safe for me to do it without holding on to anything. Keep your head faced forward, close your eyes, tip your head over to one side, come up, and same to the other side. And continue alternating sides. 
when you're finished, look forward and pause for a moment, take a breath or two and reset before you start with the next exercise. Okay, new standing exercises today. We'll start with a diagonal. Look forward and don't focus your eyes on anything in particular. You'll start by moving your head up to the upper right and then down to the lower left. So in general, your eyes follow your head movement, but they're not focused on any one uh, thing in your visual field. All right, and return to the center. Now same thing, opposite diagonal. Upper left, lower right. Upper left, lower right. Do as many as you can do and work up to 20 repetitions as you're able. Come back to the center and rest for a second. Next exercise is near targets with a head uh, turn. So we'll start with two fingers out front. And I really want you to watch what's going on with my eyes and my head movement with this one. The first step is to look at a finger. So I'll choose my right finger and then turn my head toward that finger. Then look to the other finger and turn my head. Eyes to the right and then my head. Eyes to the left and then my head moves. Continue alternating right and left side. Keep the motion slow with this one so that you can really separate and differentiate the head movement from the eye movement. All right, the next one is near targets with head movement up and down. So start in a similar position. One finger up, one finger down. Look up, head goes up. Look down, head down. Look up, head up. Look down, head down. Continue with slow movement, keeping the eye movement separate from your head movement. Next up is a side lunge, alternating sides. Perform this exercise to whatever degree you're able to lunge, depending on how your knees and your hips feel. I'll show you a full lunge, and then I'll show you a modified version with, a, with just a step. So we'll start taking a big step out to the right side, toes pointed to the right, my head and my eyes turn to the right, bend the knee, lunge a little bit onto the right leg. Come back to the center, repeat to the left. Lunge to the left, head and eyes to the left, back to the center. Repeat on the right. Lunge and back to the center. Lunge and back to the center. All right. If, you, if your knees or your hips or whatever don't allow you to do that full lunge, you could also do just a small step like this. Just turn your foot back to the center. Turn your foot to the left, head goes to the left, and back to the center. So try whichever variation feels most comfortable for your body. Next, the three standing exercise that I introduced in the beginner video will be progressed by closing our eyes. Again, standing in front of a countertop for support with your hands touching the counter to start with. All right, first one is standing with your feet together. Bring your feet together and stand upright, good posture, close your eyes. Our goal is 30 seconds. Go as long as you can and then open your eyes, reset and try again. With these three exercises, two or three repetitions is great to start with. Number two is standing on one leg. First, shift your weight onto one leg, lift the other leg, get comfortable, get stable, and then close your eyes. Our goal here is five seconds. And you can see I am working much harder with my eyes closed than with my eyes open. And I needed to step down to come out of that. If you start to lose your balance, open your eyes, step out of it. Number three is heel toe stance. Tandem stance is another name for it. Place one foot right in front of the other foot with your weight evenly balanced between the front foot and the back foot and close your eyes. And again, our goal here is five seconds. If you start to lose your balance, open your eyes and step out of it. I have a few new walking exercises for you today as well. 
The ones that I introduced in the beginner video involved a lot of head turns. Today we'll progress those to include head nods. When you're walking and you start to move your head up and down, be very careful. It's very easy to lose your balance backward if you lift your head up too high. So start with small, slow motion and build up as you feel comfortable. You could also start these exercises right next to a countertop so you could run your hand along the counter as you go, just for that added uh, bit of safety to start with. Okay, exercise number one is walking with a head nod. Looks like this. All right, I'll start walking and simply look up toward the ceiling, down toward the floor, up and down. Look up and down. Start at a pace of walking and a speed of head movement that feels comfortable for you. Number two is gaze stabilization with a head nod. Bring your finger up front as you walk. Keep your finger still and move your head up and down. Start with the pace and speed of motion of your head that feels comfortable for you. Number three is VOR cancellation. Start with your finger up front. This time, as your finger goes up and down, follow it with your head and your eyes. Just like so. Okay. Now with those exercises, actually with all of these exercises, it's much better to start out uh, slow and with small movement and build up confidence and repetition. Your, your vestibular system will respond much better to gradual, consistent challenge over time. It can take weeks, six weeks, even longer, to really notice a difference with these exercises. So be patient with them and build up gradually. It can also be very helpful to notice what things, small things, are improving on an everyday basis in your life. And noticing those changes can really help keep you motivated and keep you going and help you progress and build confidence and ultimately resolve your symptoms and get your life back to 100%. Let me know how you're doing with these uh, exercises. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, this is a great time to do that. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.